Anthropic has just announced its newest AI tool and the world is quite literally in awe. It's called Claude 3 and the experts think that it will beat ChatGPT4 and even Gemini. And I'll tell you the reasons why this tool is getting so much hype and will actually leave you shocked. It's not even been three years since ChatGPT got mainstream and companies are already jumping in and creating AI technology that could change the world as we see it. One of these companies is Anthropic, which launched its very own AI model only months after ChatGPT was officially launched. However, Claude by Anthropic felt more like a replacement or an alternative at the time, because ChatGPT had already started a trend. The entire world was already mesmerized by ChatGPT's advancement, and we weren't really ready to accept an alternative tool so soon after being wowed by ChatGPT. And to be frank, even I didn't hear about Claude until recently, which is a shame because this tool blew my mind. In the beginning, it wasn't getting much recognition and even its launch was pushed under the rug because of ChatGPT's hype. However, all of this was about to change because Anthropic decided to take things one step further and dropped Claude 3. It's the latest advancement in the AI world, which comes in three different versions, Haiku, Opus, and Sonnet. Upon further dissecting, I found out that Opus is the most powerful of these options, and it's the largest version of the model, and it could beat ChatGPT big time. So let's first talk about the things where ChatGPT and Gemini actually lack. So when you give these tools a prompt, their answers are mostly very robotic and experts could read one line and figure out that it's AI generated. The words that ChatGPT and Gemini use are very repetitive and even their vocabulary is out of date. But upon using Claude 3, I realized it's much closer to human conversations than I expected. You won't really feel like you're talking to a bot with Claude 3. And this is actually a huge leap forward in AI technology. And it actually surprised me that Anthropic was made by people who were former employees of OpenAI. So they took all the good parts of ChatGPT, advanced them, and removed the bad parts. It won't be wrong to assume that Claude 3 is just a better and more improved version of ChatGPT. The co-founder of Anthropic even said in an interview, Of course, no model is perfect, and I think that's a very important thing to say up front. We've tried very diligently to make these models the intersection of as capable and safe as possible. The statement was released by Claude Makers after Google Gemini got into a massive controversy. So Gemini introduced an AI image generator, which obviously was a massive improvement to current technology. However, users soon found out that it was ridiculously biased and historically inaccurate. The controversy became so massive that Google had to take down their image generator option. I think Claude 3 has learned from Gemini's mistake, and instead they've introduced an upload image option that users can use to get their documents analysed, which is a safe play from Claude's side. Anthropic has also made it clear that Claude 3 has a lot more data and machine learning abilities, so it can answer very nuanced questions with ease and can quite easily understand long instructions. There's one thing I've noticed in ChatGPT, it doesn't really follow all the instructions if they're very long and I have to write another prompt to remind the tool to follow all of them. Well, that won't be necessary for Claude 3. I also saw that the IQ test going viral online which shows that Claude 3 has scored 101, making it way smarter than ChatGPT4 and even your average human being. ChatGPT4 scored only 85, and Claude was even declared better at performing intricate maths problems. And to top all of that, Anthropic did something that most tech giants weren't expecting. They made the system prompts of Claude 3 public, and it read, it should give concise responses to very simple questions, but provide thorough responses to more complex and open-ended questions. It will help assist with taste provided that the views expressed are shared by a significant number of people, even if it personally disagrees with the views being expressed. Simon Willison, a British programmer, talked about Claude making their system prompts public by saying, It's really refreshing to see one of the big AI vendors demonstrate more transparency about how their system works. System prompts for their systems such as ChatGPT can be read through prompt leaking hacks. It's frustrating that we have to use advanced tricks to read them. So it seems that Anthropic has nothing to hide from the critics, and it's trying its best to show us that it's better than ChatGPT in more ways than one. And while we're at it, just know that the Anthropic founders who were initially OpenAI employees actually left the company because of how slow it was growing and because OpenAI wasn't optimizing the tool for maximum benefit.
I've noticed that ChatGPT4 and Gemini both perform moderately when it comes to long-term memory, but Claude 3 scored over 99% in accuracy for recalling prompts that were really old. So when Gemini 1.0 Ultra was launched, everyone thought that this was going to give some major competition to ChatGPT4, but even that didn't live up to the hype, and the release of Claude 3 completely overshadowed Gemini. And even when their performance was tested, Claude 3 performed better than both GPT-4 and Gemini in a lot of benchmarks. For instance, GPT-4 got 86.4% accuracy in massive multitask language understanding, while Gemini 1.0 Ultra got 83.7%, but Claude 3, well, that managed to amass 86.8%, which was way more than anyone expected. Some people are even suggesting that Claude 3 could be the closest form of AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence. AGI means that a machine or tool is just as capable as humans to understand and analyze data. And I'm not saying that Claude 3 is AGI, but it's getting pretty close. On the other hand, GPT-4 is going through a major lawsuit where Elon Musk is accusing OpenAI of delaying AGI technology because it's being controlled by Microsoft. But all of this doesn't really affect us, right? Well, personally, when I first heard about Claude 3, the only question I had in mind was how much it was going to cost us because ChatGPT-4 was charging $30 for a million tokens, which is a lot. And surprisingly, Claude 3 Opus can be purchased for $15. The price point of GPT-4 could end up being a major turnoff for consumers. You should also know that Claude 3 Opus performed better than Gemini 1.0 Ultra on the test of multilingual maths parameters, all while Claude was using zero shot, while both OpenAI and Gemini were using eight shot evaluation. The founders of Claude 3 believe that people will be willing to pay higher when they know that Claude 3 can responsibly perform the most complicated tech problems. In the future, Anthropic is even planning on launching customized versions of its tools for giant businesses so that technology can better cater to their needs. And even Google has invested $300 million in Anthropic, despite the company having its very own AI tool. And to add on to that, Amazon has also poured in over $4 billion in investments, so it's raining money for Anthropic, as the company has won the trust of some of its major investors. And after seeing the response, Google once again invested over $2 billion in its own competitor. Well, the experts think that in the coming few years, Claude 3 will be a major stakeholder in the AI industry. And if things go right, it can even surpass Gemini and GPT-4 in popularity. I believe that the only thing that Claude 3 is lacking in right now is really proper marketing. ChatGPT got the first mover's advantage, so their marketing was done by the users. Gemini was garnering a lot of bad press for its inaccuracy, which basically did their marketing for them. You know, no press is bad press, really. However, Claude 3 hasn't got into any major controversy as of now, so they need to put a lot of money into their marketing. I think they've got something great going on and they just need to focus on that marketing side now and letting people know they exist. So have you tried the Claude 3 yet? And what are your thoughts about the tool? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and thanks for watching.